Gambas al ajillo. Gambas al ajillo. Okay, you know how to pronounce it. You're gonna do great. Go get him, tiger. Welcome back to Date Night, a free cooking show on YouTube.com dedicated to impressing members of the opposite sex enough to convince them to let them put their lips on yours. And nothing's more impressive than perfectly cooked shellfish with a sexy Spanish moniker. Today's a very special edition of the show because we're cooking it at Bree's house this time, a place with no knives, no cutting boards, no gas burners, no nothing. This is just to prove how easy this dish is. Hello. First things first, you're gonna need to get yourself a pound of shell on shrimp. The bigger they are, the prettier they look, and the less you have to peel. But bigger shrimp are pricier shrimp, so you're gonna have to conduct your own cost-benefit analysis here. Take the shells off, but don't throw them out just yet. The shrimp shell is actually where all the delicious shrimpy flavor is, but I think people prefer to be served pre-peeled shrimp. So I'm gonna show you a technique to get the best of both worlds. Heat a half of a cup of olive oil over medium heat and cook the shells in it. Add two cloves of smashed garlic and any amount of crushed red pepper flake according to your own testicular fortitude. The shells will get bright red and your kitchen will smell like a Spanish harem. While that's going over there, I'll marinate these shrimp in garlic paste. A microplane makes easy work of this, but if you don't have one, you can just mince the garlic up really fine, one or two cloves. A teaspoon of Spanish paprika, smoked paprika. If all you've got is regular ass paprika, don't even bother with this. Just skip this step, because it's not a necessary ingredient, and it's not worth it to not use the good stuff. Uh, also add in one teaspoon of salt. Mix that all up together and just let it sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes. What's important is that you let these flavors get to know each other while you occasionally agitate that shell oil over there. And I'll run it through a fine mesh before finally throwing these delicious shells out. You can actually press on these little guys in an effort to extract as much oily gold as possible. And then just leave them there for a little bit to drip, drop, drip while you wipe this pan clean. Up until now, this has all been prep work. So pour the wine, light the candles, and when your lover ding-dongs the doorbell, get ready for the final act, which happens really quickly. Okay, when you told me that you had crushed red pepper flakes at your house, I didn't know you meant from old pizza restaurants, babe. Get this beautiful shrimpy oil back on the pan over medium-high heat until it shimmers a little bit. Then, you gotta add some sliced garlic. It's sliced this time, not minced or crushed. Just stir this all up until it's a very pale golden brown color. Then it's shrimp time. Cooking shrimp is easy. Just air on the side of underdone. Overdone shrimp is really chewy and tough, plus these guys are gonna continue to cook a little bit after you put them on a plate full of hot oil. So you're better off just airing on the side of a little bit underdone. Let's say for a large shrimp, two minutes each side. There's your guideline, keep an eye on them. I remember somebody telling me that you can look at a shrimp and it'll tell you whether it's done because C-shaped is cooked and O-shaped is overcooked, but a raw shrimp is C-shaped. So what does that say, idiot? Final step, add like two teaspoons of sherry vinegar. This is the one ingredient that you probably don't already have in your kitchen, but trust me, once you buy it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna keep it around all the time. It's so nutty and a little sweet, so complex. The acid will deglaze the pan, giving you some deeply browned fond flavor. And it'll also bring the temperature down a little bit, which is good because it prevents that overcooking we were just talking about. Also, freshly chopped parsley. You don't want any date night meal to be all one color and flavor. And parsley complements garlicky olive oil the same way that Usher complements R. Kelly on Same Girl. Serve these in a shallow bowl with some nice crusty bread. And if you've got them, tiny forks. Eating with your hands is a pivotal moment in the date night planning meal process. 
just letting your date know that you're ready to get carnal, primal. Please stop. Eat a whole animal. Eat 12 of the same animal in one sitting. Wow, you're gonna eat like five shrimp? Decimate the <laughs> sea population. Damn, these shrimp peas are so good. Yeah, I wish I could enjoy them, but somebody keeps sending me to do her dirty work. You know all that's left? Fetch more bread. Is that all that's left? No, that's not all that's left, but we're oh not gonna God. eat an entire French attack. loaf by ourselves in one night. Why? You're right, we should. <laughs> I can eat an entire loaf of bread on my own. That's how much I love, love bread. I'm not kidding. I can take a French bread loaf and swallow it whole. No gags. I just want to say that at my house, we have shallow bowls, we have little forks, we have everything that I wrote this all out for, and then we come here. I've always told you it's It's not all sunshines and rainbows, folks. So what are we called? Are we professional vloggers now? People like to say YouTubers. YouTubers? You like that? No, that's weird. That's like being, I'm a Googler. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll just tell people that we're filmmakers. Oh, what kind of films do you make? Short. Oh, I follow. Do you have any idea why I chose this recipe for date night tonight? This why? Spanish tapas recipe? Because we're going to Spain. We're going to Barcelona this week. So, there will be no video next Monday. Sorry, I've got my priorities chosen. <laughs> Go get me some. Let's go eat yogurt. Is there frozen yogurt nearby? Yeah. Oh, yes. I've been craving frozen yogurt for me too. so I love long. I yogurt. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.